up the Dior box of the lipstick holder. This beauty I've been waiting to open last. I'm saving the best for last. So you, um, if you'd like to join me in unboxing this and then testing out all the lipsticks that came with this beautiful lipstick purse, then keep watching. Beauty fam, I am back. I um, showed you a bit of the Rouge Dior Mina... Mina Odori. I'm so sorry. I it's it's the lipstick <laughs> makeup bag. Uh, and I thought I'd go into this palette again. This is the Dior Ecrin Couture. And it's, you know, the little the little box. And I love this eyeshadow palette. It's it's so basic and uh, so basic <laughs> that this is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but um I love it. It's because I can just because it's like an everyday, it's easy for me just to um, do a really really quick look. So this is basically my skin tone. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm just what I like using that for is just kind of putting that all over my lid here. And this is a Hakahodo um, J5522. These are great brushes, goat hair brushes. The thing is, like, I <laughs> these are so well used in love. Uh, the downside is that the Hakuhodo ends up rubbing off after a while. You see that you can just see the indentations. I can feel it where they imprinted the name Hakuhodo, but it's rubbed off. And the, the numbers have rubbed off as well. So I've had these well over a year. I'm sad that they've rubbed off, but um, this is the J. And every time I'm using Hakuhodo, you're always going to see me doing this because I can hardly read the numbers anymore. It's a Hakuhodo J5522. And I ended up getting whatever was popular plus a, a size smaller because I generally have smaller eyelids and hooded eyelids. So these work for me. And the best way I can describe it is they're goat hair. They're not the same as Refer or Sonia G or uh, Wayne Goss. They're kind of like in between. Sonia G has a lot of bounce and um, bounce and directness with their her brushes, whereas uh, Wayne Goss, it's a lot um, softer and for sensitive eyes, right? And smaller in terms of design. They're like in the middle. Um, the Hakahoto reminds me of what the old Tom Ford brushes used to be when they were natural hair brushes. They don't make them anymore. They're all synthetic, but before they used to be all natural and I think goat hair. And I have one, one Tom Ford brush of the natural hair and it's, it's kind of like in between. There's like a firmness to it of goat hair, but softness. So if that helps, um, if you're interested in Hakuhodo, it's, it's in between. It's like Sonia G Light or Wayne Goss Plus. Let me just show you these. This is the J5522 and this is the 5523. It's about an inch, inch and a half shorter. Can you see that? So um, what it is, it's like a, a little stockier, whereas the 55223 is... um. It's flimsier where this is more precise. So we're gonna do the 5522 and go into the crease shade with this color. I'm going to use this mirror that they have here. It has Dior embossed on the eyeshadows and I know that I'm going to use this palette enough that the Dior words will wear away the embossing. And that's okay because I have the eyeshadow leather at box as my keepsake that has the embossing. And I really love this color story because it's so basic. I think this is like one of those color stories that if you're new to makeup or you just want something so basic and um, uh, daytime friendly, this is gonna be okay. And I, I, I would say this is like on par with the other quints that have come out, like the quality. Okay, just some deepening up my crease here, the, the transition. Um, they do have a darker, shade which I'm going to go in to deepen my crease. I love this one. I'm going to take my Wayne Goss 04 brush into this deepest shade here. It's a squirrel hair brush. And if you're looking for 
really cost-effective scroll hair brushes, I would really recommend uh, the Wayne Goss brushes, specifically Wayne Goss number four. I haven't checked if it's out of stock, but it's been in and out of stock because it's that popular of a brush. You can see the way it glides in. It's, just, it's that scroll hair where it's really, really delicate. And scroll hair does not tend to pick up that much product, but it's more about the feel and the blend that glides across the skin. If you can see the way it, the movement of the, of the bristles is. Very, it's just smooth like butter. See that? So great at blending out because I didn't want it super, of course it's getting smoky because that's kind of what I like to do. Um, and now I'm just going to grab this is also my favorite Wayne Goss brush. It's a uh, Wayne Goss 03. It's the one that's above the four. Also squirrel hair and I just, it's clean. I'm just using it to blend out the colors and blend it together, blend, blend, blend. You just see the way it dances across the lid. It's so, such beautiful brushes. So I would say these are my two favorite Wayne Goss brushes or the squirrel hair brushes, along with the airbrush. That's also a, um, a squirrel brush. Okay, so I went into, you know, the base transition. This is my crease. And then I'm going into this orangey shade. Why don't we try the Worker Pro from Sony G? Just going into that, just wiggling it. It's really beautiful, like pumpkin brown. And this quad smokiness and this like the beautiful subtleness of it reminds me like this shade in particular, it reminds me so much of Tom Ford Body Heat. Cause it's like this, just a smoky grown, grown up, sultry quad or, or what's a Quint, Quint, eyeshadow Quint. And, but it's orange, whereas the Body Heat is like a mauvey plum. Last thing I want to do is add this glitter. And I th I'm gonna, well, let's put it like in our corner. I'm using another Hakahodo Rush J24, Hakahodo J242. And it's kind of like this pack on brush I could put in the mobile lid, but sometimes I use it just to. What I want to do is grab this flat definer by Sony G and grab some of this color here. And then I'm going to take my finger into that glitter shade and just use it as a topper just to amp it up. And that's it. It's I just love this quad. The ease of use. Your a clean uh, um, eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm. And earlier today, I was doing a video of Lisa Eldridge, and I tried using the foundation with my fingers, and um, <laughs> I discovered that I didn't like it with the fingers. Uh, I prefer putting my foundation on with 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 brush with a brush. Um, as you can see, I just look more polished. It, it kind of wore off after a while with my fingers. So definitely it's more full coverage. What also wore off was my, the Lisa Eldridge uh, blush. And I remember that's why I don't reach for it anymore. Okay, so I um, basically lost the blush because it just wore off. And I also added another layer of Lisa Eldridge foundation because I wanted more of a polished look when I'm doing the lipstick. Okay. Grabbing my Sonia G Soft Cheek and my Charnel blush which I love. This is like becoming one of my favorite blushes in my collection. Um, and you're gonna see why. For me and my skin tone, it's like the perfect, almost like nudie pink. Do you see that? So pretty. It reminds me of Pat McGrath Desert Orchid vibes, but there's like a little bit more pink in here. 
and this has been sold out at a couple of places. And I got this, um, the recommendation from Michelle Wong. She will, you know, <laughs> not steer you wrong. I don't agree with all her recommendations, but majority, yes. So I'm putting a whole lot on just because I just really love this blush. Just look how beautiful it is. Okay. I'm going to stop because I can keep going. I just, just love this blush. Just love it. I don't know okay. why I keep putting it away because I keep grabbing it. <laughs> Top shelf in my top shelf, just so you know what I really mean by top shelf. It doesn't go back in the Alex drawers, Ikea drawers. It goes back in my cushy bag. So all my top shelf items are in here. Let me know if you feel like seeing what's in here one day. Bronzer. I have two, actually I have three bronzers in there. Tom Ford Gold Dust. I am trying to project pan this before the end of the year. Because I have a head start. Doing pretty good, right? I'm enjoying this Sonia G uh, Face Pro Brush so far. What I would say is that um, I think I prefer a more precise application and my face is not that big. I mean, I have got, I've got a round face and it's pretty big, but um, I just kind of wish it was like a smidge smaller. Do you see that? Of like, that's like half, that's like half, a third of my face with this brush. So. If it were, there were a brush that was smaller, and I've been I've been eyeballing the um, Chikahoto brushes, and I'm hoping for a smaller brush. And I think there's some Hakahoto ones. Okay, so we're done. Um, I put some of this Dior Addict Lip Maximizer on. Um, it has some mint in it, and I'm not a big fan of that. But because it came in the um, sample pack, I I wore it. I'm trying it. Okay, so I've taken off that lip maximizer because it's like throwing me off I just don't like mint on my lips I keep thinking like it's toothpaste that got on my lips anyway lip luminous lip luminizer it's off now I know I don't really care for that and which is sad because it's wasteful I'm sorry not sorry just so we'll start with the lipsticks and just again this beautiful packaging again it's like I'm gonna guess it's the laser cut design on this <clears throat> this holiday packaging for Christian Dior. And this is, again, this is the one that came um, preloaded in this beautiful packaging. So again, it, you twist it off, twist it, right, you twist it counterclockwise and it goes in there. So basically the idea is that this is like a purse with a lipstick component. You counterclockwise turn and pull it off. And there's your lipstick and it comes with four colors that are um you can interchange you can take out this um case and then they oh let me see if we can do it oh it is removable ah, hallelujah so you can take this out and then use this for things like definitely your phone cannot fit in there but things like credit cards uh i don't know mints <laughs> your small key fob um, and perhaps a folded mask could fit in there. Maybe it's just cards and cash. So let me know if you what you've put in here. It comes with a chain. And I was joking earlier that I could use this as a um, as a necklace. Don't judge me. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a Dior insignia on that? I would be so rocking that. Is throwing me off but you know why not okay just throw just throwing some ideas out there um but really it's meant for <laughs> to be the purse chain I'm hooking that on the way it hooks on is that you put it on the cd christian dior and i'm looking for the day that i can go on a date with my sweetie and actually use this or a special event we're getting there um and then to be careful about hooking it over here that one is a little trickier. And I think the idea is that you can use it as a purse. So super cute as a little purse. She's a beauty. I can't believe I kissed the purse, but you know, this is like the fanciest purse I have other than the one that my sister gifted me, but I don't have like designer purses. I don't have yet. I will be growth mindset. Um, this is my first Dior purse. So I'm excited for that, you know, and just starting my, my collection and one day um, it'll grow for others. 
So let's start with the lipstick and I'm going to open this and take out the special lipstick. So this color 862 is winter poppy. It's a velvet color. Super red. Woo! It's got a lot of blue in there. It's almost a raspberry color. 873 sparkling peony and this is the metallic one. This has like a metallic sheen to it and marbling. It's so pretty. I'm feeling like getting vampy vibes off this one. Oh, it's got some berry in it, like a raspberry metallic. You see that? That's so pretty. I think this is gonna be the first one because it's the fairest. The fairest of them all. This is pink rose. This is a satin. This is gonna be for like summer, spring. 858 red pansy, and this is a matte color. Um, let's do that here. These are all very bold colors. 466 pink rose satin first. There's definitely some sort of smell, so I'm gonna get in. This is like a, it's like a Dior um, lipstick smell, which they have. So this is the pink, pink rose satin. Definitely very pink. Ooh, pretty. I kind of like it. Mm, yeah. It's, it reminds me of summer, summer, spring, going to a wedding. I like it. At first I was like, oh no, I don't know. This is out of my comfort zone. And I often have to put more lipstick up here because I have darker pigmentation up here. Uh, but she's cute. I like it. If I had the right dress on, ignore the blue. Like if I had uh, maybe a, a like a light pink on or white like a white creamy dress on that might look really pretty it'll look pretty that's pretty i like it so that's pink row 466 pink rose satin okay this was the one i was worried about the most and then it just ended up being okay I should really be trusting Peter Philip. He knows what he's doing. I'm putting on my lips is the sparkling peony, like peony the flower. It's the metallic one. Also, they all have a smell, so it's this one I'm gonna put on next. Using my Dior Ecrine. Sparkling Peony, metallic. Really beautiful. It's the light hits it so that it looks um, pinkier metallic in the front and then darker is almost like this like metallic ombre. You know, you know, I two, three years ago, I tried Dior lipsticks and I was not a fan. I think they've changed something around with either Peter Phillips or their team. It's these lipstick colors are just beautiful. But, and I mean, this color, she's cute, right? I think it's a little edgy too, because with the metallic. I mean, this is like party lipstick to me. And I wear a lot of fuchsia, so, and black. So this will be really, really pretty. And it, it is a nice contrast with even with this color, this blue here. So... Sparkling peony. I'm going to do the winter poppy, the super red one. Ooh, very red. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a velvet matte. It's it's gorgeous. You know, this is the year red. You know, we're wearing masks. I don't know what's going on. I don't I don't know what's going on. We're buying all I'm buying all this lipstick and I'm just this this lipstick is next level. Look at that. It's um just when I think I found the perfect red with Lisa Eldridge and then I find this. It's Are you seeing this? There's different types of like blue reds. 
it's a blue red, but it almost has like a touch of pink in it. At least that's how it's reading on my skin. And it's hard for me to find lipsticks like that that don't look too pink because I don't want it to look like baby pink, if that makes sense. I'm not into bubblegum pink, but wow, she's gorgeous. I, I, I mean, I might like this even more than my Chanel Red I just bought just because I, I tend to like mattes more, but it's a velvet matte, so it's not as dry feeling as the Lisa Eldridge formula. And there's different something different about Lisa Eldridge. It's so pigmented, and there's like different colors in her formula that I just um, I just love Lisa Eldridge. But this is like a red that I have not found before. Let me back up. Beautiful. It's like a statement red, at least on me. I wonder what it looks like if I could take my hair down. Yes, okay. This red. I feel a little bit like, um, just I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <sighs> I'm going to stop and keep going because I won't finish this video. It's like this red, blue red with a little hint of pink in it. I love it. Okay, so the last lipstick we have, and my lips are starting to hurt. <laughs> so it's the 858 Red Pansy, the matte one, which is this one. And I purposely went from the lightest to darkest because my lips are getting tired and they're getting dry and harder to take off because it's so pigmented. Beautiful. It's um, funny. I think that the velvet felt more matte than the matte, if that makes sense. I feel like this is a little bit satiny. Anyway, the other one was like a velvet matte, just like it reminds me of like a ribbon, a velvet ribbon. Maybe this is like the satiny matte. It's got like, it's like a brown, um, a brick red with a little bit of brown in there and a little bit of orange. And let me back up so you can see. Okay, this is Red Pansy Matte. I, I am just speechless. This entire collection from Dior, uh, there, well, I'll do my synopsis in a really another short video. Spoiler alert, what I just don't think there is a dud of any of the lipstick colors, uh, which is so rare. Growing up, my mom would get lipsticks all the time and sometimes she would get samples and they would call them universal colors. Or even in my 20s, I would dabble in going to department stores and then try on, like I would ask, which is the most popular colors now? And I would try them and they would look horrid on me. And I just think the beauty industry, they have a long way to go. But I think what we're seeing is just really efforts on not making colors that are universal because I don't really believe in that terminology. But I think really much more purposeful curation on colors to include people that uh, that is going to include people's tones and colors and depth of colors and undertones as much as possible because before the universal color my mom would get these awful awful pinks or I would get them by second hand from like Clinique and Lancome back in the day it was like 20 plus years ago yeah I would say more than 20 plus years ago and so these these all all of the Dior lipsticks I've gotten from this holiday collection they're beautiful I there's not a dud in the bunch. Cons are that it does have a smell. I'm trying to say, it's the same smell as in the Diorific, but it dissipates or it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. Now I'm going back to that, the red, the Va Va Voom red, which I really like. It reminds me of, and I'm, I'm gonna take this, this lipstick off because I, I wanna end in with the red. Okay. So I'm back to my favorite color out of out of this this set. 
they put preloaded this color uh, winter poppy velvet in the lipstick container and actually you can't take it off this is what's on this um special edition um etched 30 montanay uh dior headquarters so that's the one that's in here so even if you change out the colors this um red one i have on my lips is going to stay i think peter phillips and his team knew exactly what they were doing they put the showstopper red christmas bow velvet red preloaded in here this is a gorgeous color i might even say this is my favorite red of all year that i've found all year i mean it's just look how bright my teeth look it's beautiful it's beautiful and it's like even though it's a velvet matte it's not drying um i mean that would be a little bit con of lisa eldridge and that's why i always put a little bit of slip down of oil but it's somewhere this formula of velvet matte is somewhere between lisa eldridge's eldridge's matte lipstick velvet matte lipstick and the givenchy matte lipsticks i've been still wear testing the givenchy matte lipsticks i'm still on the fence about them i think they're a really beautiful formula minus the perfume in there i'm gonna see if this dissipates because i think dior does put some perfume in their lipsticks but from my experience they've dissipated um the givenchy oh boy does it stick around she doesn't leave <laughs> she's your aunt that you need to go home um so the Givenchy I find to be really really a strong strong scent that I don't care for after a while one of my favorite products is their Prisma Libre uh powder which is beautiful because I have like sometimes rosacea peeking through and it's this kind of like cocktail of different tones but boy Oh, there was so much perfume on this. What helped make get rid of the smell was to like, I left this out for like two or three weeks and just let it air out. There's still a smell. It's the perfume. And I just wish, please, 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 people, designer houses, please take note of like where the industry's going. Like, I don't want that smell. That's why we buy the perfume. So like Dior Givenchy, I know they're luxury designer houses. But a lot of us don't want the smell anymore. So as I'm talking, I can smell it a little bit, but it doesn't seem as bothersome to me as the Givenchy lipstick. I've been wear testing that Givenchy lipstick and it doesn't go away. And it's, it's bothersome enough that I don't want to wear it long term. So that is, you know, if that's not a deal breaker for you, if you're looking for the best matte formula, I'm going to say in terms of longevity, it's Lisa Eldridge. But if you're the matte love, matte, person that loves it not to feel like matte I'm gonna say it's the Givenchy I just don't I'm not a fan of their color range it's like for me who is medium tan and runs warm like the color story is too pink too much pinks and too much red not that this isn't red but like the color story is very limiting on the tones that she has or Givenchy has Whereas, um, at least with Lisa Eldridge, she, she tries to be really inclusive of her color curation. I don't know enough about Dior Velvet line to know if, how inclusive they are with their line, but I'm going to say already this might be my favorite like red of the year. Just how gorgeous it is. So Lisa Eldridge has the color ribbon, which is supposed to be like Christmas ribbon, I'm guessing. So this is the one I have on my lips now. So I'm going to swatch ribbon for you. And I think this is like a more true um, blue red. Okay, so you can see it's somewhere in that family, but it's a little bit deeper. It's much more pigmented, whereas the one I have on my lips has a bit of, bit of a pink. Can you see that? Um, both beautiful. This is what I think of, of a Christmas red. But this one has, it's just a little bit more pink. My Chanel red, which I just picked up because I also wanted like a Christmas kind of red and this is the Rouge Allure um I'm gonna show you how it opens because it's very Chanel <laughs> Rouge Allure Emblematique 147 this is not a matte formula it also has a slight smell of the Chanel lipstick but also it's like a you can see that's like a Christmas red and there's a bit it's also pigmented but it's not matte so there's more slip to it so this is like a deeper, deeper like red ribbon, a little bit bluer, but then there's some pink in there. So as you can tell, I really love reds. You can never have too many red lipsticks. You know, so. I have no regrets. What I'm going to do is probably a synopsis on all of 
like my favorites of this collection and just give you a ranking about like which ones um, which products of the Dior collection would I are my favorites which ones are not to miss and which ones you can pass if that makes sense and like depending on like what would be good for yourself what would be good to buy for a present and I hope that would be helpful for you um, so that's it friends you know I am in love with this once I saw some beauty friends opening theirs opening theirs I was like I must have it so I did order it was back ordered and I was kind of saving waiting for to open this on a special day where I had time to really just sit with the collection and not be hurried to just enjoy this present to myself it's like Christmas came early for me it's been a hard year for um, all of us in different ways so um you know if you're thinking about it and you just want to spoil yourself for someone else this would be a beautiful present beautiful I just I just keep looking at it just it's just so pretty and is it practical it's completely not I mean but I'm gonna try to make this into a purse or something because I, I I make it work and always I'm looking at the work around I just I love love this purchase the lipsticks are all a go for me so if you're a tan complexion medium tan um you saw um them all swatched here and then on the, how they looked on my face yeah i that's it i have no other words other than i had a feeling this was might be my favorite part of the entire collection and that's why i waited for it to last be last because you know you see the best for last for some people eat the dessert before some people do that they eat the cake first and then their meal but i wanted to save the best for last so super excited about this purchase and if it's still available i believe it is it was it showed up on the sephora website and people were buying it for part of the vib resale i believe it's shown up at nordstrom's for a hot second uh, and if i'll i'll put the links below if where you can still get this if possible and i bought this directly from dior because i just love the experience of opening a dior luxury box and all the samples and so um yeah i'll put the link below um if you have any questions let me know bef um, below and that's it that's my review highly recommend this purchase and that's it so thanks for watching and um being on this journey of opening this beautiful beautiful dior lipstick lipstick bag and trying on the lipsticks with me i hope you enjoyed the, your time here and that you had fun with me and um and if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so i would so appreciate your support um i do this as a passion project a lot of us content creators are not paid for our time to do this creation most of us content creators are not paid um for the time most of content creators use their own money to buy the products we're reviewing and so that's why sometimes there's affiliate links no one's ever used mine um yet so um it's down there if you feel compelled to do so no pressure just so just they're there if you want but um i do this because i enjoy and and i love 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 makeup and i love lipsticks obviously and luxury makeup and skincare so if you're interested in that content and hanging out with me and seeing what works as for tan skin friendly brown skin friendly products in the luxury beauty space and skincare then consider subscribing to my channel um please consider commenting below it really helps out my channel and likes below and if you have and if you're not following me on instagram on instagram please do so go ahead and follow me there because i try to post daily some looks some reels and shorts and sometimes um notifications on sales that go on and it's a great beauty community there so um i not i try to post two to three times a week if i have time um that may or may not go that might go down during the holiday season just because it gets busy um, yeah in the meantime as always please take good care of yourself and others and as always be you okay in the meantime please uh take care and i will see you in the next video Bye.